You find all sorts of characters at the Canterbury AMP show, and Chris, I'm going to put you in that category, but tell me about the Chaff Chaps. How did it start? So we started in 2014. I used to own a mushroom farm, and we needed some chaff cut for our, our mushrooms to grow on. And um, because for oyster mushrooms, you need it on nice little short wheat straw, not long stuff that you grow button mushrooms on. And so we tried lots of different options around how to do that. And finally, I met this old guy who said, Chris, you've got to buy a chaff cutter. And I said, well, that's great, but where do you find one of these? So talked to lots of chaff cutters. No one wanted to cut chaff for me uh, because wheat straw is just a pig of a process to cut. And so we finally found this guy over in Swananoa who said to me, Chris, I'll do it for you, but you need to buy a chaff cutter. One thing led to another and we finally found this chaff cutter down in Southland. We bought that, brought it back up here, then found we needed to have a steam engine to drive it. Not <laughs> quite a steam engine, but that was basically what it was. Well, they are the traditional source. Exactly. <laughs> and we believe in being back to the basics, which is why our machine's 113 years old. And so we bought this chaff cutter for doing the mushrooms. Then we looked at it and said, I only need it for about one day a fortnight. And that's a little bit silly. So we had a few conversations with Rob, my business partner, and said, why don't we just cut some chaff? And so we asked around, we did some research, we found that there was a shortage of Timothy chaff. And so one thing led to another, and the chaff chaps were born. A few coffees, a few beers. And yeah. So you market, I mean, you, nobody sort of thinks about chaff, but then there is obviously a market. There's a massive market. Uh, there's something like about 80,000 recreational horses in New Zealand uh, without getting into the, the performance horses, the racing horses and all the rest of it. So there's a big market out there for horses um, and most of those need some chaff at some point. Um, so there's a massive market there for chaff and most of it is dominated by loosing, which is a little bit over the top in terms of a horse feed. The Timothy is a much, much better option for horses um, it's more palatable, it's got, it's slightly, slightly less protein, but it has no end of fight. So you don't get heat up with your horses. Um, so your horses are much more easily manageable. Um, and we've got a lot of trainers now that are starting to use it and just commenting on how much more relaxed the horses are. Because to some, it, it's actually a health product for horses. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, we, and we've got a number of customers who are ardent fans of it in, from a health perspective. And if you've got ponies um, and stuff, Timothy's the best way to go. So let's run through some of the, the attributes because you're talking about Cushing disease and all that sort of stuff. Yep. So the, the Timothy, because of the, the nature of, of the feed there, then you don't end up with a lot of those metabolic types of um, issues. So laminitis, um, all of those sorts of things are not problems with, with using Timothy. And all of those things, you can end up with problems with loosening. So how do you keep it weed free? So we get it grown in Southland. Um, we have a very good grower down there. We, we've tried getting it out of Canterbury, uh, but it just doesn't seem to grow very well here. Um, so we have a very good grower down in Southland and um, he knows what he's doing. He's been growing it for a long time. Um, and yeah, he provides us with a great product. Well, Chris, here's your chance for a commercial. How do people find you? So you can find us at www.thechaffchaps.co.nz. Uh, we're also on Facebook. Um, or just email me, info at thechaffchaps.co.nz.